Making Castile soap. Only a few ingredients. We're going to start by taking the carbon out of these capsules. It's activated. We're going to use this as a pigment. The scale ready. We're going to weigh up some filtered water to make the soap with. It's one of the main ingredients. 104 grams. Now we're going to measure out 58 grams of sodium hydroxide. This is the active ingredient that saponifies the oil. Now we're going to measure out 454 grams of oil. We're going to weigh up 14 grams of essential oil, mix it with the carbon, mix the carbon together, and we're going to put the immersion blender into the oil. And we're going to start pouring in the hydroxide mixture once it's cooled to about 100 Fahrenheit. We're going to add it in there while blending. This is the start of the reaction. This is when the sodium hydroxide is going to react with the oil. The immersion blender helps to even out the reaction so everything's, uh, all the ingredients are reacting with each other. If you're looking for a trace, that's when the soap starts to thicken up. We're going to add the essential oil and carbon pigment. We used lavender oil. Now we're going to give it a real thorough mix. And it's going to thicken up more. Now we're going to pour it in a mold and we're going to let it cast in this mold for 48 hours, after which we'll take them out, cut them up, and then dry the bars for up to a month, a little bit more, four weeks plus, then they're ready for use. That drying time helps to cure the soap, making it harder 